The United Kingdom is one of the most popular marketplaces to sell to and that's because of the rising demand every year and the big increase that we're seeing every year in numbers in e-commerce online sales in the United Kingdom. So we have so many buyers there and while there is an increasing number of sellers in the UK, it's nowhere near what we're seeing in the United States. Therefore, the UK is a very good option and a very good alternative to the United States. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can start your own eBay UK dropshipping business and a successful one at it. Quick intro and let's go. All right, eBay UK, here we come. One second before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. You're probably asking yourself, can I even dropship on eBay UK if I don't live in the UK? This is a question that a lot of dropshippers are asking and the answer to that is yes, of course you can sell on eBay UK if you don't live in the UK. You definitely do not have to live there to sell on it. Just like eBay US, you don't have to live in the US in order to sell on eBay US. You are simply considered an international seller. Now the next question a lot of people are asking before they get started is, is it even legal to dropship in eBay UK or in the UK in general if I don't live there? And once again, the answer to that is yes, of course it is legal as long as you are following UK's rules and regulations when it comes to the competition and consumer laws and distance and online selling. By the way, guys, everything that I'm going over in this video, plus of course, I'm always adding more bonuses in the video, but everything is in the blog, which I'll leave a link to right below this video. So you can always check it out, read it after watching this video and get more insights and knowledge and value. So I'm going to leave the link to the competition and consumer laws and distance and online selling also below this video. You guys should go over that. There's nothing really special there, but it's something you want to go over before you start listing products on eBay UK. And of course, you want to abide by eBay's Vero rules. For those of you who don't know, Vero stands for Verification Rights Owners. And this is eBay's system to protect brand owners, company owners, people who trademarked and patented their products. But if you're using AutoDS, you won't really have to worry about any of that because AutoDS has a Vero database which is updating all the time with all of the Vero products, products that you are not allowed to resell. So you'll always get a warning message if you're trying to add a product that you are not allowed to. You do need to get to know the drop shipping regulations in the United Kingdom. Once again, links below this video. Nothing too special there, just familiarize yourself with it. Before we get to how to drop ship on eBay UK, let's talk a little bit about the advantages of drop shipping in eBay UK, why you should do it. So if you can see this chart here in front of me, you can see that every year e-commerce sales in the United Kingdom are simply rising. The numbers that you're seeing here is in billions. So in 2018, e-commerce sales in the UK closed at almost $678 billion. The year after that, $693 billion. And of course, we don't have the stats yet for 2020, 2021, at least not in this graph, but we can see which direction this is headed. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, a lot of people are drop shipping on eBay US and there's more marketplaces, by the way, guys. There's eBay Australia, there's eBay Germany, eBay Canada, and more. You can sell on any one of those marketplaces and it's a really good idea to do so because when you have one item or specific products that are selling on one marketplace, you can try to multiply your sales by listing them on other products that are not selling on one marketplace but does have a good winning streak on another. So it's always good to test out new marketplaces. Let's go back to UK. So as you saw in this graph here provided by Statista, the e-commerce sales are rising every year. Most sellers today are on eBay US, so we don't have so many sellers on eBay UK, eBay Canada, eBay Australia, and eBay Germany. Once again, here we're talking about UK. It's not a saturated market and you can definitely take a good piece of the cake if you start anytime soon. So with more than 240 million monthly visitors on eBay UK, you can definitely enjoy the extra sales and profit that you're going to make when you are selling on eBay UK with less competition and more demand. eBay UK versus eBay US, which is better? This is another question that a lot of people are asking before they start their dropshipping selling channels on one of these regions. And it's a good question because you have two great marketplaces. Many sellers are making a substantial amount of profits on both of them. But as I mentioned, the US is a very saturated market. Now, saturation is not a bad thing. I'm selling myself on eBay US and it's a very profitable market. Many sales, many profits. 
But like I said, when you test out different marketplaces, you will notice their advantages too. So some products that are very saturated on eBay US that either are not selling for you or it's just selling once a week or once every two weeks, if you try those same products on eBay UK, you'll notice a much higher success rate. So this is one of the biggest differences. If you're already drop shipping on eBay US, what I would suggest to do is start selling on eBay UK. You don't even have to register a new account. You can use your existing account to start selling on eBay UK. Simply head over to ebay.co.uk, log in using your US credentials and start listing your products there. But of course, don't do that until you finish watching this video because I will show you guys all the steps, your policies, product research, UK suppliers, and so much more. So let's get on with it. There is no better marketplace. You should definitely try testing them out and seeing what works better for you. Depends on, of course, what products you're selling, what categories you're tackling, the audiences that you're targeting. So once again, eBay US and eBay UK are both great marketplaces, each with their pros and cons. But eBay UK is definitely not a marketplace that you want to leave behind. So now let's talk about the best UK suppliers for dropshipping on eBay UK. While there are suppliers all around the world and you don't have to use a UK supplier, first of all, I would recommend to do so because eBay wants you to ship out your products quickly to your customers. And if you're creating a new seller account, eBay is going to look at you with a magnifying glass and see what products you're selling, how fast you're shipping them out, if you're delivering them on time and if your customers are satisfied. So these are things that we really want to focus on in the beginning. In order to do that, we're going to start with suppliers that are located inside the UK. This way we can ship our products really quickly domestically from the UK to the UK. And we don't have to worry about things like import tax, which I will get to soon and more things. But the main point here is to ship quickly using UK suppliers. And this is how we're going to do so. The first supplier is Amazon UK. So of course, I'm going to click on this link here on our blog and it will take me to amazon.co.uk. Once you're on amazon.co.uk, you can see all of the products that are stored in UK warehouses and make sure that your deliver to shows a country in the United Kingdom so that you will be sure that these products can ship to the UK and how long it will take. So that is the first supplier that can ship quickly from the UK to the UK in just a couple of days. Then you've also got AliExpress. Now, many of you know AliExpress as a Chinese marketplace, and that is correct. You have many Chinese sellers inside AliExpress selling products that are sourced from China. But then again, AliExpress already started opening up warehouses all around the world, including the United States and of course the United Kingdom. So if I head over to AliExpress right now, I'll just click on the link that I have in the blog below. Now here on AliExpress, I'm going to change my country, my ship to up here. I'm going to click on that and change it to United Kingdom. Now I can see all of the products on AliExpress that can ship to the UK. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to ship from the UK. In most cases in AliExpress, we're going to use international shipping, which means that we are importing products from outside the UK and importing them to the UK every time we make a sale. So now I can see all of the products that can ship to the UK. Let's search for a product like dog collar. And here in the search results, we have a whole bunch of dog collars that are selling really well. As you can see up here, my ship to country is still the UK. So I know that these products can reach the United Kingdom. And here I can play with the ship from. So I can also see what products we have here that are being shipped from the United Kingdom. As you can see, there were more countries there like Spain, France, and so forth. Okay, so we have all of these products here. Now let's click on one of these products and see that it can really ship from the UK to the UK inside the product listing. So what I'm going to do here is click on one of the variants. So let's go with the green color, size medium, and ships from, as you see, we have China. And here we have the United Kingdom. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, we have a little shipping price here, delivery in the United Kingdom. And the total product price is going to be about 2.6 pounds plus another 4.45 pounds. And the estimated delivery is on January 10th. Now I'm recording this video on December 27th, which means that this product will arrive in less than a couple of weeks, in just about a week and a half, which is a good time to reach a product in the United Kingdom. Usually buyers don't wanna wait more than two weeks to get their item. So if you can find products that are shipped from internationally or even domestically, and it takes less than a couple of weeks, your buyers will be happy about that. If you can even find products that take one week or less, two to three days, like Amazon, for example, that's even better. You're going to get very satisfied customers regarding your shipping speed. So this is just one quick example. If you find more examples, you will see that you have better shipping times than this, even though, as I mentioned, a week and a half is not that bad. So that's just another supplier example that you can use to ship products quickly to the United Kingdom. The third one is Banggood UK. So click on the link, see what they have, 
see what they can ship from UK to UK warehouses and also check their international shipping times. The fourth supplier is Costway UK. So once again, use the link below, click on Costway UK, see what products they have. And it's always a good idea. Don't forget guys to work with multiple suppliers. If you're only going to work with one supplier and it lets you down, like for example, if you're working with a Chinese supplier like AliExpress and you're only importing products from AliExpress in China and now the Chinese go on some new year or some holiday and they're going to be gone for two weeks, you won't be able to ship out your orders. And since you only relied on one supplier, now your dropshipping business is stuck. So you always wanna work with multiple suppliers to get a higher reach to more products. And of course the diversity, better shipping times. If one supplier goes out of stock on a product that you sold, you can always search other suppliers. Even though you're using price and stock monitoring, these things can happen from time to time and we need to be able to fix any problem that may arise, which is available through working with multiple suppliers. The fifth UK supplier that ships quickly to the UK is Wayfair UK. Now let's go back a sec. Costway and Wayfair and Banggood and AliExpress and Amazon, they're all suppliers that didn't originate from the UK but they noticed a rising trend in the UK market and they wanna tap into that too. So with their help, you can drop ship their products on the UK market and have a high success rate. And the sixth supplier from the UK is Vita XL UK. This is a relatively new supplier, but they have proven themselves with high quality products and fast shipping time. So check out what they have and start working with them too. Those are some of the best suppliers that I can recommend drop shipping from the UK. But we also have a full detailed article on the best suppliers from drop shipping in the United Kingdom, which I will of course leave a link to right below this video so you guys can have more information, more suppliers and more products to sell to the UK market with of course fast shipping, which is something that's very, very important here. Here's a quick glance at that article, the top 11 UK suppliers to work with on your dropshipping business. The list is right here. You can click on any supplier to go down to the description and read about them. So once again, link right below the video, get to know these suppliers and start working with at least three of them to get a good start on your dropshipping business. So now that you know about some of the benefits of dropshipping in the UK, some of the legal aspects and what suppliers you should be working with to ship quickly inside the UK, Let's go ahead and get started on how to drop ship on eBay UK. So first things first, what you want to do is register for a free eBay account. So if you haven't done that yet, all you have to do is head on over to ebay.co.uk and register for your free account. Once you finish registration, eBay will ask you about your payment settings. This is where you're going to have to connect Payoneer as a payment provider service. So when your buyer pays you for the product, eBay will hold these funds and they will send it to you after a day or two through Payoneer. And with Payoneer, you're going to withdraw your funds. Now you can also use Payoneer with so many other things like loading your balance if you want to enable automatic orders, which we will get to soon. But once you set up, once you sign up for eBay, set your payment settings and everything is up and verified, you can start listing products. The first thing that you wanna do is list a product manually. Now for that, I'm going to leave once again, a link to an article below this video on how to list an item manually on eBay. And why is it important to start with a manual product? Like I mentioned before in this video, when you have a new seller account and you're importing your first few products, eBay is going to look at it really, really close with a magnifying glass. They wanna see what type of seller you are, what you're trying to do here. And usually when they see people right from the first day when they create their seller account, they start uploading products that they don't have in stock from retail marketplaces. The first thing that eBay is going to do is suspend your account only temporarily. Then they wanna get you on the phone and see what type of seller you are, what you are here to do on their platform and what your intentions are, where you're sourcing your products from and so forth. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with what we are doing. eBay supports drop shipping as long as you're doing it the right way. You're taking care of your customers and you're very, very customer oriented, but they're going to ask you questions in the beginning, like where are you sourcing your products from? You can tell them, of course, that you're working with wholesale drop shipping suppliers. They may ask for invoices if you have any. You can tell them that you just got started so you don't have them yet, but you do have drop shipping contracts and so forth. If you wanna take the easier route, what you wanna do first is add products manually that you have from home. So for example, I can list this glass cup right here and anything else that you have laying around, simply import those products to your store manually, which means you're going to have to write the product's title, the description, 
take photos, upload those photos one by one, and add all of the item specifications, make sure that everything is correct, give it a buying price, give it a shipping price, so if someone internationally buys it, you can also ship it out to them and make your first few sales. So what you wanna do first, again, is list your first item manually. You're going to get a full guide on how to do that once again right below this video. Once you list your first product manually, continue adding more and more products. If eBay starts you off with only five items or 10 items as a starting limit, you wanna use those limits with 10 products that you have around your home and then what you want to do is get eBay on the phone or on live chat and let them know that you want to get a limit increase because you have more products to sell and 5 or 10 is nowhere near enough. Then what they're going to do is easily upgrade your limits. By the way guys, if you need help raising your eBay limits, once again we have a video and an article on the subject, all the ways to get in touch with eBay and all of the best tips and tricks to make sure that you will finish that call with more limits in your eBay account. So once again, I'll be leaving links to those right below this video. So that's a little bit regarding starting limits. eBay is going to limit you in the beginning. Use those limits to upload manual listings from home raise your limits, and then you can start making substantial profits from dropshipping. The next topic that I wanna talk about is how to set your business policies for eBay UK. Now, business policies means your return policies, your payment policies, and your shipping policies, and this is different from the US. So I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step explanation right here. So when you create your first listings manually, you're going to create your payment, shipping, and return policies from inside the listing creation. But if you just head over to the link that I will leave once again below this video, It'll take you to your business policies page where you can manage them, you can create policies, delete them, and do everything else that you need regarding your policies. So what we're going to do now is start creating our policies, starting from the first one. So I'm going to click here on create policy, and I'm going to choose a payment policy. So we're gonna start with payments, then we're gonna go with returns, then we're gonna go with postage, which is eBay UK's way of saying shipping. So we're going to create first a payment policy. Give your policy a name. I'm going to call it eBay UK payments. You can give it a description, set it as your default payment policy. And here, since I've got managed payments by eBay, I've got it hooked up with Payoneer. Then I have this require immediate payment when buyer uses it, buy it now. And I'm going to save this policy. Now it's going to take me back to the main policy screen, which you can see right here. And you can see that I have a new policy created called eBay UK payments. So every time I create a new listing, I can assign this policy to that listing and buyers will be able to check out using eBay's managed payment system. For, so for the buyer, it's credit card and PayPal and all of that. eBay is going to get the payment and they're going to send it to your Payoneer account as I explained in this video. And by the way, guys, if you also don't know how to connect your accounts to Payoneer, pass the verification process and all of that. Once again, I'm going to be leaving a link to those explanations below this video. So you guys really have the whole package here. Okay, let's create the next policy. I'm going to create a policy and this time it's going to be the returns policy. Now this really depends on what suppliers you're going to use. If you're going to use suppliers like AliExpress that mainly do not allow returns or they do allow returns but not free returns and they also don't allow buyer remorse. So if the buyer just regrets you know, purchasing the product and even if he didn't open it, he won't be able to return that product to AliExpress unless you really convince the AliExpress seller that you want to return this product. If the product arrived damaged or if the item is not as described, then AliExpress, for example, will allow you to return that product, but the buyer will have to pay for return shipping anyway. If you're using other suppliers like Amazon UK with their Prime service, then you'll have 30 day returns, no questions asked, and the seller, Amazon in this case, or the Amazon FBA service, is going to pay for the return shipping. So that means that you can offer free returns. So it really depends on what supplier you're going to use. In this case, you should create two policies, one with free returns and one where the buyer has to pay for the returns. And every time you import a new listing, you're going to apply the right policy for that listing. So here we're going to make a policy. We're going to create a policy called free returns UK. Domestic returns accepted. So this means that you accept returns from UK buyers. After receiving the item, your buyer should contact you within 30 days. You have the option for 14 or 60. 30 days is usually the average that you're going to get. Some suppliers even offer 60, which means 
eBay is going to promote your listing even more if you can provide 60 days returns. Return postage will be paid by the buyer or the seller, which means free returns, which I just talked about a minute ago. International returns accepted. If you're going to sell internationally and your supplier allows or supports international returns, then you can definitely have this on. Return postage will be paid by, in most cases, international returns are always going to be paid by the buyer. Okay, so I'm going to create this policy. This is free returns and I'll set it as my default. Now I can create another returns policy and this time I won't offer free returns and this is for those listings that I will import from suppliers who don't offer me free returns. So this is called buyer pays for returns UK or anything like that. It doesn't have to be that name. Domestic returns accepted, 30 days, only this time the return postage will be paid by the seller. International returns accepted, once again paid by the seller. I'm going to save this policy. Now I have two return policies and one payment policy, which is good for all of my listings. Now I'm going to create a new policy and this time it's going to be the postage or the shipping policy. How long it takes me to provide a tracking number and how long it takes me to deliver the product once the buyer purchases it from my shop. So I'm going to create a policy name called Shipping Policy UK. Set it as my default. Now the domestic postage, I'm gonna keep it on flat, same cost to all buyers. And the services here, I need to choose which one suits my listings best in terms of how long it takes to ship. So here we have two things. We've got services and we've got dispatch time. Don't confuse it between the two. Dispatch time is how long it takes you to provide a tracking number once a buyer buys from your shop. So if a buyer buys something from your store and let's say you're using Amazon's Prime service and you know that within two to three days, the, the product might even be delivered, but you will get you will get a tracking number within two to three days. So here you can use up to three days. Now, as you see here, excessive, not typical, is anywhere above four working days. If you don't have a choice, if you're using, once again, suppliers that take a little bit longer to provide shipping labels, like some sellers on AliExpress, for example, you're gonna have to go with four to five working days. But if you find a seller that's shipping quicker than that, then you can always change the policy from one to the other. And so the dispatch time, in this case, let's say I'm going to use Amazon Prime Service or any other supplier that provides tracking numbers within two to three days, I'm going to choose a dispatch time of three working days. Next, my services. How long it will take the actual package to arrive after the domestic, after the dispatch time is over. So after those three days, how many more days will it take to arrive? You're always going to choose the maximum that you can, but don't take it too far because eBay will demote the listing the longer it takes to reach the buyer. So here, for example, let's say, let's go with other courier three working days. The reason why I'm not choosing a specific courier is because if you don't get that shipping carrier, then eBay is not going to recognize that shipping and it's not going to be counted in your seller metrics. So here, we're just gonna go with other courier three working days. And this means that I've got three plus three, which is six working days to deliver the product to my buyers, which is more than enough using suppliers that ship quickly. Of course, you can choose three to five working days or five working days if you're not sure how long it's going to take your supplier and you don't want any surprises, you don't want late shipping. So test out your suppliers, test out the products, see what their actual shipping times are and adjust your policies along the way. And here I can choose if I also want to ship internationally. So once again, it depends on your supplier. Some suppliers support it, some suppliers don't. If they do support it, then use flat same cost to all buyers and start including or excluding countries from the international shipping, which is, which is what you can see right here. And of course, you're going to choose post to worldwide, what services you can offer. So once again, it depends on who you're shipping from and where it's coming out of, but mostly you're going to go with something like economy international postage or standard international postage and how much it costs. Once again, it depends on your supplier. And if you're not sure how to set these policies, you can always sign up with HipShipper. We have an integration with HipShipper, which is an international shipping company that will go to your eBay listings. It will scan them using the robot and it will recreate policies. It will reassign them to newer policies with international shipping. And then when you get an order, all you have to do is ship it to HipShipper's warehouse and HipShipper will ship it to the end customer. HipShipper will make sure that the buyer pays you for the international shipping and you will have to pay it to hip shipper and of course you can even make some extra profit just from the shipping price and of course you're going to make some extra sales and extra profits once you enable international shipping because this way not only is the united kingdom going to see your listing but everyone around the world more traffic more sales more profit 
that is what we're all here to do. For more information on that, check out our integration with AutoDS and HipShipper. It doesn't cost any money to join them, no subscriptions, no cost whatsoever, just pay them for the shipping after the buyer pays you. So that's regarding how to set business policies for eBay UK. Let me just save this one. In this case, let's not enable international shipping save this of course we're going to provide free shipping so the cost is zero and zero free postage free shipping this is something that we want to offer even if you're using a supplier that's charging you for shipping if you're using auto ds you can have auto ds include the shipping price inside the source price and still have the same amount of profit that you want to profit only you're going to be offering free shipping even if you are paying for shipping. So I'm going to save this. And that is how simple it is to create your business policies on eBay UK with all of their options. Now, every time I, I list a new product, whether I do it manually or through AutoDS, I can always assign my listings to any one of these policies. Okay, so we have a store on eBay UK. We have our business policies up and running. What's next? Now is one of the most important parts of our dropshipping adventure and that is called product research. This is one of the most important parts as I said and it should go without saying but if you're going to add products randomly or you, or you haven't conducted any research on the products that you're adding to your store you have no idea if anyone is even looking for them and if they're even going to buy it from your store. Product research is one of the things that you have to spend the most amount of time on to get it down correctly and it requires a lot of testing and a lot of trial and error until you start finding those categories and those niches and those micro niches that will start to sell. So put in a lot of work in this part and this is the best way to conduct product research. Let's get started. The first way to conduct excellent product research for eBay UK is simply by seeing what's selling well for other drop shippers or other sellers on eBay UK. This is how you're going to go about doing that. The first thing that we're going to do is head over to amazon.co.uk and what we're going to do here is click on best sellers right here on top. And here I want to get some great ideas on some of the products that are selling pretty well. Now, of course, you want to go inside products that are relevant for the dropshipping business model. So in this case, let's see all of these categories on the left side and I will point them out to you guys. So Amazon devices and accessories, no. Launchpad, no. These are branded things. Apps and games, also not relevant. Audible, audiobooks, not relevant. Automotive is relevant, not for selling the cars themselves, but you can definitely sell spare parts. Uh, cleaning kits and all kinds of things that are bundled accessories to cars. Also, you've got baby products, great for the dropshipping business model. Just stay away from products that are hazardous, uh, flammable, chokeable, and so forth. Beauty products are also great, but stay away from things like vitamins, supplements, and things like that. You can sell things that have to do with fitness or jewelry accessories and things like that. Books is also an okay category, but you probably won't have too many sales from there because there's nothing special about a book. You can't really optimize your listing in such a way where you'll really be able to stand out and be special and unique. Business, industry, and science, you can definitely find products from there. Just stay away from the really, really heavy products. eBay charges more when you make sales on those. CDs and vinyl, you, you, you really don't have to look at in that category. Clothing is good, clothing is great, but remember that you have so many variations and so many sizes, so you do have to include them all. And it's more challenging to find something that's going to sell well for you on clothing because you have millions of products there. So there's a lot of extensive research to do there. Next, you've got computer and accessories, which is a great category for dropshipping. As long as you're not selling the actual computers themselves, but definitely sell accessories and things like that. Digital music, no. Do it yourself and tools, sure, why not? Definitely a yes. DVD and Blu-ray, once again, no. Electronics and photo, you can definitely drop it from that category. One of my favorites, garden and outdoors, pretty much everything you find there is perfect for the dropshipping business model. Gift cards, no. Grocery, no. Handmade products, no. Health and personal care, like I said, no vitamins, no supplements. Besides that, feel free, like uh, men's grooming kits and so forth. Uh, home and kitchen, a great, great category for dropshipping. You've got so many things there that have to do with home decor, uh, kitchen products, storage products like food storage accessories and things like that. Jewelry is fine for dropshipping, just stay away, away from big known brands. Kindle store is not good. Large appliances can work. Lighting is great. Luggage is also good. Musical instruments is also good for the dropshipping business model. And eBay takes a really, really low uh, final value fee when you sell uh, musical instruments. Uh, PCs and video games, no. Pet supplies, definitely a yes. 
Prime Video, no. Shoes and bags, yes. Software, no. Sports and outdoors, definitely a yes. Stationery and office supplies, toys and games, and watches are all good. Just once again, stay away from those big known brands. So that's just a quick summary of the best categories for the dropshipping business model. Now let's go inside one of these categories and see what we got. So I'm going to go to pet supplies. Now what I want to do is test the market, test the products that I see here, and see if I can really find something that's trending and selling well. So inside pet products, I'm going to dive deeper inside the categories. So here, for example, I'm going to go with dogs. Then let's go with uh, doors, gates, and ramps. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of items here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this dog bell, trainee potty, pet doorbell is a good product, if it's something that's selling, if it's something that I should probably be, be selling myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take probably the first couple of lines just to get the 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 main product what we're looking at here we're going to copy that title i'm going to head back to ebay and i'm going to paste it in the search field so i can see that the product is being sold here for seven and a half pounds on amazon okay and here i can see a whole bunch of sellers that are selling this same exact product now some of them have their profit profit margin set really 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 low like 890 but then other ones other sellers are really trying to profit here like this guy here is selling it for 17 pounds and we've got another one right here selling it for 13 pounds and he's also taking another 20 pounds for shipping and so is this one so these guys are not really selling it for cheap because they're also taking more money from shipping and of course some of them are not so they're just also really cheap so you're gonna have the best of both worlds here for example let's click on this seller i can see that he sold it 11 times so you can tell that this product is actually a popular product that people are actually looking to buy so I'm going to click on the sold here to see when he sold this product. And as you can see, he sold it this month once uh, in October, a couple of times, September, several times, and he's had it up since March. So this product is working pretty well for him. And the more the time passes, the better his listing is going to be promoted on eBay because he has he's making a rich selling history here. OK, so this is one product that you can sell, but this is just a really quick example from the first product that I just checked on Amazon. But how can you tell, though, what products are selling from the search field? So let's go back to the search that we con conducted here on eBay. I want to take out the ones that are not selling because they're not interesting. If, if the seller is not selling a, a, a listing, then I have no reason to learn from him. So here on the left side, you see there's a sold items button. I'm going to click on that. But as you see, completed items also clicked in. I'm going to unclick that because it's only showing me items that are completed, which means that now they're out of stock. So I'm going to unclick that and have only sold items clicked in. Now I'm going to see only the products from the search that have sold at least once in the past. So here we have them, one for 836, another for 10.12 with another 18.6 pounds in shipping. So here you're paying about 28 pounds and Amazon ships it to the UK without taking any price on shipping. So that just comes to show you how much this dropshipper is profiting. So all of these guys here have sold this product. And the more I scroll, the more I can even see more products that are similar to this one so I can get more ideas on products that are selling. Now, at this point, I'm telling you guys, don't worry about the prices and don't worry too much about the competition. Even if you're importing a product that other people are already selling, whether they are or whether they aren't, it doesn't really matter. You're going to be optimizing your product's title. And the title is one of the most important things on eBay that's how the buyer is going to get to your listing when they're searching for something on eBay. So you're going to change your title, you're going to optimize it to be unique for you, and you're going to also optimize your images and your product description, item specifications, and so much more so that you will have the winning edge over your competitors. Let's take a look at an example of how to import your product to AutoDS. This is going to save you a lot of time not only is it going to save you that time, but it's going to help you differentiate yourself from the competition and have a higher chance of the buyer seeing your product and not your competitors. So let's say we want to take this dog bell that we just found a couple of minutes ago. What I'm going to do is take the whole URL and simply copy it, head over to the AutoDS platform, and then we're going to click on add products. Now, of course, this is assuming that you sign up to the AutoDS platform and you want to start optimizing your products and stand up from the competition and save a lot of time. There's also more things that you can do here, but we're only going to touch these specific subjects right now. So what you're going to do is add your eBay store on the top left once you register. It's a very simple process. Then we're going to click on add products. And in this case, we can simply go with a simple product. Of course, we can also add multiple products. We can even grab whole supplier pages like, for example, all you have to do is download and install the AutoDS Helper extension. So on Google, just write down AutoDS Helper and you'll be taken to our extension. From there, you can simply search for something like 
dog collar, for example. Let's just go with the same example that I started with. And here, let's say you found this niche and it's working really well for you and you just simply wanna start adding as many as possible to really test out this whole category. All you have to do is download and install the Chrome extension, like I mentioned. Then when you search for something on your supplier's page, you're going to see the AutoDS icon on the bottom right. Let's just give it one and a half seconds to load. Here it is right here. So I'm going to click on it. And as you see, this window came up right here. I'm going to click on extract. What happened now is all of the products, all of the 25 products on this page, just extracted into this little extension over here, all of their product IDs. Then I'm going to export it as a CSV. And as you see, a CSV file was downloaded onto my computer. Next on the AutoDS platform, I'm going to click on multiple products or stores. And here I can upload that CSV file right over here. Then it'll simply import all of those products to my drafts page. I can optimize the product, optimize all of, all of those 25 products and import them one by one or all together to my store. Then it'll move from drafts to products. That's how I'll know that the products are now live on my store and anyone can go in and start buying them. In this case, we're going to go with a single product. So I'm going to click on add product. I'm going to grab the URL of that product or let's just go with another product. So let's just say it's this one. I'm going to, I'm going to copy the link address or the URL and on AutoDS, I'm going to paste it right here. The supplier is Amazon. The region is the United Kingdom. It grabbed those details automatically for me, but if it's wrong for you, just switch it to the right thing. Then what you want to do is click on edit now quick. Now in just a couple of seconds, it's going to grab all of the products details from Amazon and upload it to the draft section of our page in AutoDS where we can start optimizing and here it happened while I just spoke. So what we're going to do here is start with a title. We can only have up to 80 characters, so we're going to optimize this title, reflective dog collar. Let's delete and, delete a seller's name. Adjustable pet collars with soft neoprene padding. I don't think people are really searching for the word neoprene, so with soft padding. We're going to delete the word and. Four foot matching leash for small, medium, large dogs. We don't have room for that, so I'm going to delete it. So we're just going to delete, delete a few more words here, just to make it up to 80 characters. Okay, so reflective dog collar leash, adjustable collar, soft padding, four foot matching leash. Okay, so that's a pretty good title. It's optimized it's, and it's a different title from what other people have. Now, for more examples, you can go inside the product and read the customer's reviews, see what people wrote and try to find words that are repetitive in the customer's reviews. You can also use those also because they're probably searching for those same words and you can see what the product is all about, read the description and get more word ideas from there. You can also try keyword searching. So search for this product on Google and see what what the autocomplete is also giving you, you will be able to get some more strong keyword ideas from there. So once you optimize the product's title, you have the category. So you want to put it inside the relevant category. In most cases, AutoDS is going to automatically choose the category for you. Then you've got the tags, which AutoDS filled in automatically. So dogs, collars, harnesses, collars, basic collars, you can add more, you can remove and so forth. And these tags are good because you can always analyze what products are selling well for you by also checking out their tags. It'll help you analyze categories and niches much better in your store. Shipping methods you can choose the cheapest, cheapest with tracking or fastest with tracking, and you can choose your policies. So we already talked about these policies. Here you can simply select those policies that we created. I don't have it here since the store that I showed you guys is not synchronized here, but if it was, you would see the payment policy, the shipping policy, and the return policies that we created on our eBay accounts. The country location, this is important. So if this product is coming from the UK warehouse, then of course the country location is the UK. But if I'm shipping it from China, you want to make sure that it's in this example from China or Germany or wherever it's from. Don't lie about the country location. Make sure that it's exact. Then you've got the default zip code. So this is the default zip code that you want to show up in this listing. Of course, when eBay sees that the tracking is co not coming out from this zip code and they check that, they may flag your eBay account. Flagging your account means you're going to get less views and less sales. But this is not a big deal for two reasons. One, if you get flagged, all you have to do is simply add more listings because the more listings you have, the more sales you make, whether you have more views or less views, the more you have, the more views you'll get and more views means more sales. The second reason, and this is a really important one, we are now working with Aquiline tracking numbers 
which means that once you sign up for the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, which I will talk about in a few minutes, you will be able to convert your tracking numbers automatically to Aqualine, which means all of your tracking information will originate from the zip code that you have set over here. This means that eBay will not flag your account because you're not breaching their item location policy. And if they already did flag your account, all you have to do is enable it now, let your next few orders run, see that the tracking is coming out from the same place, from the right zip code, then you can simply let eBay know that you're not breaching their item location policy, please unflag your account, and they will proceed to do so. Okay, so that's, that's a little bit about the default zip code. Then you've got the brand, so you don't need to write anything there if you don't want the buyer to see what the brand is. And you've got the monitoring, so you can enable stock monitoring, price monitoring, and automatic orders, which we'll talk about soon. Then you've got the product description. So here what you want to do is first set the template that you want for this product. Now using AutoDS, you have all kinds of free templates that you can use. So you can click on edit templates, it'll take you to the template section of AutoDS. And you can use any template that we have ready for you guys, it's absolutely free. You can use services like Fiverr or Upwork to hire freelancers for as low as $5 to create a unique template for your store. As long as you have a template, your store will look better that way. Then you wanna make sure that your product description looks good. So I can click here and edit product description and change a whole bunch of text around. I can add more things, I can add images, I can change the sizing, the format, and so many things. If you're importing a product from a Chinese supplier, the description is probably not going to look so good. You're going to have to optimize it some more. Then you've got the variants. So if the product has variations, we would see them here. We can even add more variants and I can even add variations from different suppliers in different regions so you can really make your your listing stand out and be unique no other seller will have the same exact listing with these variants so you can really make something special here just get creative then you've got the images so here's all of the images that we got that AutoDS imported from our supplier to the AutoDS platform, which will soon be on our stores. Now here I wanna show you guys the advanced image editor. It's a great feature to make yourself unique and stand out with your images. And you don't want your image just to be the same as other sellers, even if you optimize your title, item specifications and so forth, you still wanna have a good image. So here I'm going to click on edit. Of course you have different options you can just see them play around with it like flipping cropping and so forth and this is the advanced image editor this is where i can really make some magic happen i can draw some things like free draw i'm just making something ugly or ugly over here just to show you guys you know how it works you can make shapes you can apply icons you can add free text like free shipping worldwide shipping and so forth you can add a mask filter and more check out our advanced image editor help yourself stand out this is absolutely free and included inside your AutoDS package subscription then you've got the item specifications so here i'm going to delete the brand for example i don't want the brand to be to be seen then you've got everything that AutoDS automated for you and you can add more things like for example let's add type dog collar you can also add i'm going to click on add then let's say dog size small medium and large and simply continue optimizing your item specifications from there then i'm going to click on save to save this draft and once i click on save and import it's actually going to move from the drafts to the product section of my store and then it will go live anybody will be able to see it so this is our product's title the store name is ebay uk that's where i'm adding it to you can add an internal note only that you will be able to see and the supplier of course is once you click on it you'll be taken to the supplier's page for this product so that's how simple it is to automate the importing process and it's really important to do so if you guys really want to save time and be able to scale this business and reach new heights in sales and profit and not limit yourself to doing the same daily tasks every day and not really grow your dropshipping business. So that's a quick thing about product research and a great way to start conducting your product research. Once again, guys, put a lot of work and hours into this and you will start to see the results. You also saw how you can quickly import products from your suppliers page to AutoDS. Soon I'm also going to be going over the pricing settings so you guys will know exactly what fees you are paying on UK and what you need to price your products in order to make some profit and how much you're actually profiting at the end of the day. We're gonna get to that soon. So we talked about product research, how to import your products also really quickly to AutoDS. So regarding product research, we said that you can go to Amazon's bestsellers or any other supplier that has a bestsellers page so you can see products that are selling and trending. Search for that product on eBay, as you can see here once again in front of me. Click on sold items, but make sure that you didn't click on completed items. It might be done automatically, so you'll have to undo it. And then you'll see what products are selling there, and you can start adding those products and even products that are similar to that. Now, there are more product research methods. For example, you can use the AutoDS platform. We have a new product research 
feature implemented inside the system. Let me give you a quick look. Even though we haven't added UK suppliers yet, it will be added very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, we may already have it. So I just clicked on the AutoDS product research and it's taking me to that marketplace. And as you see here, we have all products. I can click on popular products, new products, holiday products, which is also good because every time we have a holiday coming up, we're going to help you guys prepare your stores. And this place is simply packed with so many best selling and trending items that we have found out on our AutoDS database. And we want to share the success with you. We want to help you guys really sell more. Your success is our success. It's mutual. So we have to get this thing working. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Now, the thing is here on the left side, you see that we have US suppliers and China suppliers, but sooner you're going to have more things like private suppliers, which is going to be really great and unique just for the AutoDS members. And we're also going to add UK suppliers and other regions. So this is a great way to see what's selling well. And you can search for similar products on amazon.co.uk or other suppliers that drop ship from and to the UK and that way you can easily get more ideas to make more sales so you can use this method and once you'll have UK here you can simply import this product really quickly by clicking on import product if you click inside the product listing you'll see more things like the product's rating reviews item specifications and so forth that's another way to conduct research and the third method that I want to talk about is using the AliExpress dropshipping center to conduct your product research let me show you a quick glance of what it is and what it's like so all you have to do is write down on google aliexpress dropshipping center and it'll be the first link log into your aliexpress account and here on the left side you're going to click on find products to sell this place is going to give you a whole bunch of product ideas even products that you never thought even existed and they're really trending right now so search for those products and even those that are similar to them and get unique with your store and with your number of sales. So here we can see that these winter warm gloves are selling really well right now and it makes sense because we're really in the middle of the winter right now. We've got these wireless earbuds, we've got home decor, pot pen holders, and here on the right side, you can see how many orders we have on these products and how many of these orders are dropshipping orders, which you can see it makes up for the majority, about 50 to 60%. Here, we don't have so many dropshipping orders. So here, for example, only 228 out of 1,600 are dropshipping orders. So this is probably a good example of a product that you should be looking for and dropship it on your store because not a lot of dropshippers are selling it, at least not yet. Then you also have the analyze button here so you can really analyze each product's performance. So I just clicked on the gloves just to show you an inside analysis view of what it looks like when you click that button. You can see when the product started trending and this also helps you get an idea if this product has been trending for a long time, like for over a year now, so it's gonna be much harder for you to sell it or if it's something re actually relatively new that you can actually ride this train and enjoy those sales. So here, for example, this product only started selling just five days ago and yeah, so it increased five days ago. It started a small decrease and now it's back up to, I see a hundred here. Someone maybe even bought a hundred for their stock because they sell it at selling well for them. So don't let them be the only ones and enjoy this piece of the cake. This is another, once again, great place to find product ideas that you should start adding to your store. So you can use the product ideas here, search for it on your suppliers, see who can ship it as quickly as possible to the UK. And once again, this way you're going to be able to find products that are trending really, really quickly and save a lot of time on product research. Now, an additional way to conduct product research is by simply letting the product research be, be get done for you. This is especially if you don't have the time for it, you can simply use the AutoDS Finder. This is how it works. First on the AutoDS platform, I'm gonna head back to the selling platform instead of the product research. Then what I'm going to do is once again, click on add products. Only here, instead of adding single or multiple products, I'm going to click on AutoDS Finder. The AutoDS Finder is going to use AutoDS's database with thousands and thousands of trending and best selling products. And it's simply going to add them automatically to our stores. We can even schedule it to do the same thing every day, to add products every day to our store at a certain date and time. So you can make it a recurring thing and simply let your store grow automatically, see what's starting to sell from them, and then manually search for more products that are similar to those that sold for you from the finder. So this is another great way that you can add as an addition to your product research and really find really good items here. So what we're going to do here, once again, we click on the AutoDS Finder, 
And here we have basic, popular, bestsellers, and coupon products. My two personal favorites are bestsellers and coupon products. Bestsellers will add products that sold at least eight times in the last month. And coupon products will give you products that have a high chance of having a coupon, which means you will get a discount when you purchase that product, which means once again, more profit for you. So here, let's say, for example, I want to add 20 products that sold eight times in the last month. And I want to add 10 more products with a high chance of a coupon. Now here I can add my supplier source. So I can say that I want, I want to source these best sellers from products that are coming out of Amazon and from the region instead of the United States. In this case, I'm interested in the United Kingdom. So let's go with the United Kingdom. Now, since I changed the region, I need to add my selection again. So 20 that sold eight times in the last month and 10 more with a high chance of a coupon. Total cost 130 credits. Make sure that you have credits. If you don't, you can easily buy them from the platform. In this case, I have over 29,000 credits in this account, but credits are relatively cheap. So you don't really, really need to worry about that. And of course, we want to publish these items to eBay UK. Then I can add it as a draft or I can add a publish recurring, which means I want to have this as a recurring thing, which means I can select when I want to keep recurring this same action. So I clicked on that and here I can select which time. So let's say 3.30 is fine. And I want it to be recurring on a daily basis. And finally, you can choose if you want to add them as drafts or if you don't have that checked in, it'll simply publish directly to your store and I don't need to do anything. Now I know that every day at 3.30 p.m. I'm going to have 20 bestsellers and 10 more items with a high chance of a coupon, which means 30 items that are probably going to trend pretty well on my store. Now, of course, not every item is going to sell and it doesn't matter what type of product research you're doing. That's a dropshipping business model. The best part is you don't have to pay in advance for your products. Just add more and more listings, keep testing and multiply your success by adding more that are similar to those that are already selling for you. I know that I said that a few times. I'm probably going to need to say it a few times more for it to really get in your head because this is what's going to help you sell and profit at the end of the day. Okay, so publish recurring. Let's say that we want to add them as drafts. Click on next. Item is being added to recurring. Click here to track the progress. That's all there is to it. Now the product research is being done for me. My recommendation is to use the AutoDS Finder while also adding in your own product research methods which I talked about in this video. But if you really don't have time for product research, then yeah, you can use only the finder and take a look every day to see what products it's adding, see what's starting to sell and start optimizing from there. Okay, so here you can see today, December 27th on eBay UK, 20 bestsellers, 10 coupon products from Amazon UK, upload time at 3.30 p.m. And this is a recurring thing. So you can edit the settings of this recurring upload, pause it or delete if you do not want to continue with the recurring process. So that pretty much sums up the product research phase for eBay UK and how to really do it the right way and succeed at it. Now let's go over order automation because now you have your store up and running. You know what's what, you know who's against who, you have the right products in your store and you finally started to make some sales. Now what you wanna do is start adding in order automation because you only have two options here once you start getting sales. The first one is to manually go to your supplier's website, create a buyer account, add your payment settings, your credit card, whatever have you, and purchase each product from your supplier, ship it to your end customer with your payment details. And the more sales that you have, the more tiresome this is going to get because when you'll find yourself spending all day just fulfilling orders and maybe even making some mistakes now and then like shipping to the wrong address or anything else that might happen but this is going to be a very time consuming process that will stop you from expanding it will limit you just like if you're not using any drop shipping tools at all and let's say you're doing everything manually like you're refreshing all of the products every day on your supplier's website to see what went out of stock or if there's any price changes. You'll never see the end of it and you'll never be able to scale your business. Same thing goes for order automation. What's so good about order automation is that you don't have to be in front of your computer to process your orders. Now, if you're dropshipping from places like eBay US in the US market, you can use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service which means that you're not even going to be using your own buyer accounts. AutoDS has their buyer accounts. They will fulfill your orders and update your tracking. For the UK, that will be available soon. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, fulfilled by AutoDS is already available in UK. And if it is, start using it now. But if not, you can use automatic orders. So let me show you how that is done. On AutoDS, I'm going to click on settings. And the first thing that I want to do is enable automatic orders on my package. So I'm going to click on plans and add-ons. And I'm going to make sure that the orders processor here is enabled at just $8 a month. Now I'm going to click on orders. And here you will see all of the orders, of course, that came in to your AutoDS account or to your eBay store, which is synchronized right here. And when the orders start to come in, they can come in in either two forms. One is pending or the other is in order process, which is let me send it to auto order. 
in order progress, which is what you see right here. Now let's go back to the settings before we continue there. Once we enabled it in our plans and add-ons, what you want to do next, and of course you want to click on Amazon UK here and select the right store. So the store that we're going to choose is eBay UK. This is the store that I'm referring to for automatic orders. And the supplier is Amazon UK. So now I want to enable automatic orders for Amazon UK. So once I enabled automatic orders in my plans and add-ons, here on eBay UK and Amazon UK, I'm going to click on the orders tab and I'm going to enable automatic orders. Requires a buy account. What is a buyer account? This means that you need to have an account on Amazon. AutoDS is going to use your Amazon account to fulfill your orders for you automatically. So even while you sleep or while you travel or while you do anything and you're outside, you're not in front of your computer, your orders will get processed as soon as they come in, which means your buyers are going to get their products delivered pretty quickly. Not only are the orders going to be processed automatically, but once tracking is available, AutoDS is also going to update the tracking information on the AutoDS system and on your eBay store. So your buyers will be able to see right away that tracking is available and you won't have to do anything for that. So what you want to do in the order settings is enable automatic orders and you have the rest of the order settings here, like tracking conversion. Here, for example, you can choose disabled, but if you're dropshipping from Amazon UK, what you do want to do is convert all tracking numbers to Aqualine with zip code masquerade, which is what I talked about in this video, meaning your account will not get flagged. And if it's flagged, you can unflag it by telling eBay that you are not breaching their item location policy because with Aqualine, your tracking numbers are going to come out from using the same zip code that you have in your listing. Or if you don't want to use Aquiline, you can also use tracking conversions to Blue Car Express. So every time you get an AMZL tracking number that is not supported by eBay, of course, eBay is going to support the Blue Car Express tracking number or Aquiline if that's what you chose to go with. So in the tracking conversion, definitely take advantage of that. Then you have some more settings and you have your automatic messages. Now you definitely want to enable automatic messages to your buyers. Here you're going to send automatic messages and here I'm going to enable it on the right side. So automatic messages is going to help you get better feedback for your eBay account. You're going to get faster feedback and positive feedback at that. So first you have, you've got the gift message. So if you're dropshipping from Amazon, you know that Amazon enables gift messages. Here you can write whatever you want and every time an order is sent out, it's going to be sent out with that gift message for your buyer. So if you want to brand yourself, write down your brand name in the gift message. If you want to connect to the customer and tell them to leave a positive feedback on the gift message, you can even do that. Then you've got the feedback message, which is right here. So you're leaving a positive feedback automatically through AutoDS every time someone buys from you. And when a buyer sees that you left him positive feedback, he's most likely going to send you a positive feed feedback back as a seller. So here you can write a custom message for that positive feedback that you're leaving your buyers. Then you have your after order message. So this is the message that your buyer is going to get after the order was processed. We already have automatic messages set for you on AutoDS, but you can definitely get in there, click the pencil button right here on the right side and edit it whatever, whatever way you want. You can even have triggers here like inserting the buyer's first name, last name, product title, store name, tracking number, shipping carrier, and feedback URL to leave you with a positive feedback. Then you've got the automatic message for once tracking number is available. So dear buyer's first name, your package is on its way, the tracking number is updated in your order details, the tracking carrier is shipping carrier trigger, and so forth. And then you've got the feedback message. So this one gets sent a certain time after the package was delivered to the buyer and asks him to leave a positive feedback. So all of this is going to really improve your customer service and the positive feedbacks that you are getting on your eBay seller account. So use the automatic messages and that's just a little bit more on the order settings. So enable automatic orders and then when you hit when then when you go back to your order screen you'll see that your orders are being processed automatically. Just make sure that you have auto order credits right here. You can click on buy credits and each credit costs anywhere between uh, 16 to 30 cents, depending on how many credits you bought. Now, once the order gets sent out, it's going to, the status is going to move from in order progress to order automatically with the order ID inside. Then once it gets shipped, AutoDS will move the status from ordered to shipped, as you can see here, with a tracking number in the AutoDS order details and on your eBay store so that the buyer will be able to track their progress, their delivery. And you can also start a return. So from the delivered progress, you can start a return. I don't have the perfect example here since this store doesn't have it. But once you start a return, you're either going to get two things. 
either you're going to get a download return label as you can see here i simply need to click on that and it's going to download the return label all i need to do from there is send the return label to the buyer and once they send it back they will get the refund and you will also get the refund back credited into your AutoDS account if you are not eligible for a return like let's say two months have passed and amazon only gives you one month then you will get a return felt and tell the buyer the same thing your policy states 30 days and you cannot return this product unfortunately so automatic orders is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to help you scale your business really easily definitely take advantage of automatic orders and automatic tracking updates along with your tracking conversions now this video was really long and really guys congratulations on making it this far but there's one more really important subject that we need to talk about how to price your products how do you know what your break even is how much you're profiting and how much you can profit on each product and just for that we created the ebay fees calculator once again completely free to use just so you guys can understand what your break even is and how much you should price your products so let's take a look here for example First, you need to choose what category you're importing products from. Let's say I'm importing this product and I wanna know how much I should price it for. So here in the fees calculator, my category, I'm going to look for a pets category, but if you cannot find your category here, then simply click here on other categories. And as you see here, we're, we're starting to see what our fees are, but it's not ready yet. Then you've got your payment processor. So either, either using the manage payments, which we talked about, or you have an older eBay account and you're still using PayPal and you didn't have to use, move to manage payments yet. So choose what your payment processor is. Then your eBay account options. Do you have an eBay store subscription? Are you a top rated seller? And are you an international seller? So let's say for example, you're dropshipping to the UK, but you don't live in the UK, so you're an international seller. Then we've got the selling price. So this is how much I wanna sell the product for. So let's say I wanna sell it for 19.99. Oh, and of course we wanna choose uh, the marketplace up here. So I'm going to choose United Kingdom. Okay, so we're seeing dollars, but never mind. let's just pretend it's pounds. I wanna sell this product for 19.99. The product costs me 8.99. The shipping price in this case, let's say it's zero. The shipping cost, how much it costs me. So the shipping price is how much I wanna charge the buyer. The shipping cost is how much I'm paying for it. And promotions, if, I, if maybe I have a promotion running on this, I'll talk about promotions right after this calculator explanation. But let's say I'm not running any promotions here, so no need to do anything there. I can also check the fees by putting in an item link here to an eBay listing. So here in total, our total fees are $2.87. And our total profit from selling at $19.99 and buying at $8.99 with all of these conditions is $8.13 or eight pounds in this case, which is just above 40%. So this is a pretty good profit margin. And here I know that I can sell this product for even lower if I have to and still make some substantial profit for just one sell. So that's not bad, right guys? This eBay fees calculator is gonna help you guys a lot because eBay has different fees in different categories and different options here. That is why we created it. Most categories are gonna pay about a 15% category fee. You also have final value fees, you got promotion fees, you got so many things that it's much, much more difficult to explain it, much easier to simply give you the calculator and let you take it from there. So this is gonna help you guys understand how much you're profiting. And then on, in AutoDS, all you have to do is simply set it in your pricing settings. So you can do it really easily by heading over to settings. Of course, it's eBay UK and Amazon UK. And here in the pricing settings, I can set the settings that I want. So I can go back to the calculator and see that my break even is about 15%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 15% and add that as my fee. So that's my break even. Now above that, I wanna make additional profit. So let's just say I wanna have another 50% profit and additional profit in pounds. So let's say I wanna make another one pound on top of the 50% on top of my 15% break even. Next, you can decide if you wanna have an automation for your products. So what this means is it helps you get more sales on products that are not selling well, and it helps you profit more on products that are selling well. So what it does basically is it increases the price of a product every time it sells up to a certain limit of your choosing, and it decreases the price of slow movers, products that are not selling, it keeps decreasing them down to a certain limit of your choosing until it starts to sell. So this way you're always going to find your sweet spot for every product and profit the most while still making sales. You can also have dynamic profiting. So let's say you, you, can, you can tell the system, for every product that costs anywhere between zero to 100 pounds, I wanna make 50% 50, 50 profit and another pound. You can add another rule from 100 to 200, what you want your profit to be, and you can keep adding rules or removing them. 
and you can also set a cents price value so i want every listing to end with 95 cents or 0.97 cents or 0.99 cents just to make your listings look better and consistent so there's many options for you here i'm not going to go through all of them but these are the important ones to help you optimize and scale your dropshipping business another subject that we have to talk about is customer support when dropshipping on ebay and uk in this case so using the auto ds system you have the customer support tab on the left side and that's what you're seeing here in front of me now in this case it's empty because i don't have any yet on this specific account but if you want to know how it works what you're going to see here is all of the messages that you're getting from your buyers so even if you have whether you have one or multiple stores you're going to be able to manage all of your customers messages and all of the cases cancellations what whatever they may be everything here under one screen so you don't have to browse through different browsers different tabs and so forth you can see everything all in one place if you want to see a good example of how this works check out our ebay customer support management system page this teaches you everything that you need to know about it but just take a look at this screenshot of how it works so sorry for the blurry picture guys i just can't show you my actual account because everything will have to be blurred and you won't really be able to understand anything but what you're going to see here in the chat screen is the buyer's messages who the who the message came from the status of the message the type of message the time it came in and what store it belongs to once you click on one of those messages this is what you're going to see so it's going to open up what looks like a chat window between you and the buyer and here you can see an actual message that I got from one of my buyers on my store. So everything is great. Thank you. My fiance will be coming home from the army soon. I can't wait to put it on her neck. Thank you. So this is a real message that I got from one of my buyers. Uh, you can guess that I sold a necklace here and they were really happy about it. And then all I did was I wrote down here in this chat box, congratulations. I hope your brave fiance will love it. I clicked on send and it sent a message here. So for you, it looks like a chat window between you and the buyer. But what's actually happening in the background is it's sending these messages to the buyer on eBay, saving you a whole lot of time. You can also save chat snippets. So if you have recurring messages that you're sending to your buyers, you can save those snippets and just paste them whenever you see fit. So the customer support system looks like this. Only in this case, let's click on customer support. In this case, once again, you're seeing an empty screen because it's a demo account, but we have a video about it on our YouTube channel and we have the eBay customer support page, which is what you can see here in front of me, which tells you exactly, shows you how you can work with the customer service feature. So guys, customer service is one of the most important things. Don't miss out on your buyer's messages. Answer and reply to each and one of your buyers. And of course, if there's a return case or a cancellation request, answer them as soon as possible. Take care of your seller metrics. eBay wants to see that you're taking care of your buyers and only then they'll start to see, you know, who you are, how much you're profiting, how much they're profiting from you and so forth. First and foremost is customer service. Now, the last subject that I want to go over in this video, and once again, guys, good job on making it this far. Give yourself a tap on the back. You really deserve that. How to run an eBay PPC campaign step by step. Now, I'm not going to be going over the step by step here, but I will talk about the importance of this. And I will advise you guys to read this article and watch the video embedded in here right after watching this video. Now, there are two main ways to promote your products on eBay. One is using promoted listings standard and the second is using promoted listings advanced. The difference between them, and you will learn it from watching this video and reading this article, the standard is what we had up until now, which means you're telling eBay, you can take a percentage from my final price if you are able to make a sell by promoting my listings. So the higher percentage you, you give eBay, the more they're going to promote this listing. So inside your eBay seller dashboard, click on promotions and you have the options there to create a new promotion for standard or for advanced. So standard, you can simply select all, your, all of your listings in bulk and tell eBay here, take 5% if you're able to make a sale. And eBay will only deduct these funds from you only if they were able to make a sell. Now they have a new option called Promoted Listings Advanced, which is PPC, or in other words, pay-per-click. This way, eBay is promoting your listings even more on top of other sellers who are using the regular version of prom Promoted Listings. Only here, eBay is going to charge you for every click. Now, many of you are thinking, okay, if I have to pay for every click, no matter how much it is, 5 cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, I hope not, but if I have to pay for every click, and I'm not gonna make sales on every click, it's probably not gonna be that worthwhile. Now guys, I wanna remind you guys, everybody today, every big company is running pay-per-click. Amazon, Google, Facebook, and now eBay. It's a proven method that works. First, you need to check all of your listings and put them in a PPC campaign with a starting budget of let's say $5 or $10 per day. Let eBay play around with your listings and promote each one 
and see how far they can get you and what sales they can get you. When you read this article and watch the video here, you'll see my example of the PPC campaigns that I ran on my eBay account, what sales I was able to get. And the best part is that you're able to export Excel files that give you a whole bunch of information that you won't be able to get out there on the internet of what products, as you can see here, it's a small screenshot, but you'll see it better if you read the uh, blog or watch the video, but you'll see what keywords people are searching for, what they search for to get to your product. It's gonna give you so much insight on what customers are searching for and what, their, what the customer behavior is by simply running PPC campaigns and you'll be able to easily take this information and optimize it to run better PPC campaigns and create better campaigns in the future. This is a great feature that was just added and it's a very, very good way to get those early sales and take this along the whole way, not just when you're in the beginning stages, but also when you're advanced and when you're expert, you're not gonna wanna let this feature go. It's one of those features that's gonna get you the most amount of sales. Of course, you need to analyze it really well, you need to optimize it really well, but it will all come automatically for you once you just give it a shot. So once again, the link will be right below this video. And that pretty much sums up how to dropship on eBay UK. We touched pretty much everything that there is when it comes to dropshipping on eBay UK. If you guys have any questions, let me know right below this video and I will of course answer you guys. You can also check out our Facebook community page where dropshippers are helping other dropshippers with all of their questions. Our goal is to help each other succeed and that is exactly what we are doing here. Once again, if you haven't done so yet, like this video if you appreciate the value, subscribe to always learn and always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of dropshipping. Good luck with eBay UK. I'm really proud of you guys for making it this far. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.